The million people in the UK who are said to practice yoga may find it helps their mental and physical health. But next into the den is a Scottish couple who hope yoga might boost their financial health as well, if they can just secure an investment from the dragons. My name is Cheryl McDonald. I am the founder yoga teacher and director of Yoga Bellies, and this is my husband, Michael McDonald, also a director. Yoga Bellies offer authentic yoga classes for women and children, which allow them to enjoy all the benefits of yoga in a welcoming, safe, and fun environment. Our organisation began when my son was only six weeks old and I was teaching pregnancy yoga in my spare bedroom. From these humble beginnings, we have grown to over 60 franchise teachers across the world and continue to grow. We also offer women the opportunity to own a successful yet ethical yoga franchise, work around their family, improve their own mental and physical well-being and help other women. What could be more rewarding than this? Yoga Bellies generates income from initial franchise training fees annual fees and packs that we sell to teachers that give to every member that comes to a Yoga Bellies class. We're on target this year for a turnover of 116,000 with a net profit of 50,000. In years two and three, turnover will be 160,000 and 290,000 with net profits of 76,000 and 200,000 respectively. I'd now like to invite one of our certified Yoga Bellies teachers, Sophie McCandless, who is 22 weeks pregnant, into the den to be involved in a demonstration. We're going to take the front foot to 90 degrees and the back foot to 45. We're then going to swim the arms forward and take them behind the back into reverse prayer position or namaskar. We're then going to take an inhale and a back bend. And on the exhale, gently coming forward, only as far as is comfortable. We don't want to squish our baby. Thank you, Sophie. It's a harmonious pitch from Cheryl and Mike, who are seeking £50,000 in return for a 20% stake in their business. But before the Dragons put the couple through their paces, Peter Jones seizes the opportunity to quiz one of their franchisees. How much money have you made as, over the last 12 months working with Yoga Billies? I have two, um, happy to say, very successful classes that I'm teaching. And on my busiest class, which would have around about 18 to 20 mums booked in um, on a regular basis, they would be pulling in just over 200 pounds. So about 10,000 a year? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's only from two classes a week. That's, that's absolutely phenomenal. How much did you pay to go on the course? Um, ever since the, the training actually started. My initial investment, I think, encompassing the 200 hours yoga teacher training was probably around about the 2,000, yeah. 2,100 mark. Sophie, I think we're, we've got no more questions. Thank you very much. Not a problem. Thank you very much. Thank you, Sophie. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Hi, Cheryl and Michael. I'm Kelly. Hi, um, Yoga's everywhere. Yeah. Um, there are lots of schools teaching people yes. how to teach yoga. So what you're essentially wanting us to invest in is a franchise model. Yes. So I'm trying to get my head around it. So once somebody pays a fee, yes. which you said now is 3,000? The initial fee yeah. is, is now four and a half. Four and a half thousand. But the annual fee is around 50 pounds a month. It's quite a lot of money though. Yoga is something that you can do at home. Absolutely, yeah. So I'm just trying to see how this turns into a much bigger business. We have 300 territories in the UK. And each of our teachers actually has a, a set geographical territory of, of 200,000. Um, and they can purchase further, further territories as, as they wish to expand. So in the UK, what's your geographic spread? We have lots in Scotland, lots in Northern Ireland and down south in London. I think the only person we have in the middle of the country is in Hull. You said that um, you've got teachers all over the world. Yes. Do you mean 
Do you mean 60 in the UK and one in Dubai or something? <laughs> What's your global we footprint? We have two in Sweden, one yeah. in Korea, one in Dubai, one in Cyprus, yeah. one about to start it's in San Francisco. Well, okay. um, so it's quite international then? Yeah, and someone um, is about to sign up this week from Latvia. I have a fairly big franchise and I know some of the issues with it, but I also know how fast it can grow. Yes. Um, why haven't I heard of you? I don't know. <laughs> um, we have, I mean, I've only been training other teachers for two years. Mm. So it, it has all happened within two years. Um, we, are, we rank the first page on Google for pregnancy yoga, antenatal yoga and uh, postnatal yoga. So if, if you happen to be pregnant and you were looking for one of those classes, you would find us on the first page. So far, it's been a composed performance from Cheryl and Mike. Peter Jones is curious to discover more about their backgrounds. Have you ever done something like this before? Uh, no, I, this is my first business, but I, was, uh, I did international business in modern languages at uni. I actually have numbered dyslexia, so I really struggle with the accounts and the figures. Um, so I focused really on the training and the marketing side of things, and, and Mike has kindly taken care of the figures for me. How much money have you put into the business? Uh, nothing. Nothing. We didn't have to put anything in initially because I did everything. Okay. How much does the business got in today? 40,000, probably in cash. So you've got a business studies degree, you're yes. rolling out a franchise programme, yeah. you know, all the ins and outs. You've got 40k in the bank. So, so why are you here? So as much as the money would be absolutely fabulous, uh, the main reason that we're here is to gain from your fantastic business experience. To have that kind of experience within the organisation, we could grow, you know, more efficiently, mm -hmm. faster, you know, looking at cutting costs and, and just making everything better. I'm not convinced you need anybody's help. I think we do. <laughs> Cheryl and Mike's modesty is charming the dragons. But could their business be in danger of becoming a victim of its own success? Especially in the light of their recent decision to increase their franchise fees. I have an opinion about the, the future profitability. I think you're going to struggle charging four and a half thousand pounds and I think you're going to now start to see a massive slowdown mm -hmm. and I think you'll then end up reversing that model back to how you started so successfully, which means that I don't believe that you'll achieve the 76k net profit. Do you agree with what Peter said? Uh, actually, no, because we've never actually been so busy since we put the prices up. <laughs> we've had more inquiries. When I started my school, teaching school, you know, I thought it was very expensive what I was charging people for a week to come fly in from all over the world. But there was a point at which I had to put the price up. But if people really wanted it yeah. and they were serious, they would fly over and do the school and pay the money. By putting up the price, we're hoping we'll attract a more serious teacher who will want to teach more and then our income will increase. There are clearly mixed views in the den about the price hike. But will Cheryl and Mike's staunch defence of it be enough to convince a sceptical Peter Jones? I think you're going to struggle selling it at the top end. As an investor, for 50k, it's not something that I think I can make a decent return out of it. So I'm going to say I'm out, but wish you the best of luck. Okay, thank, thank you very much, Peter. Thank you. Mike, Cheryl. I think you've got a very nice little business. And the problem is, I think it's going to stay that way. Right, OK. So, I mean, little in terms of, you know, the, the grand scheme of things, yeah. in terms of scale. So I think on, on that basis alone, um, you know, congratulations, best of luck, Thank but you. I'm out. Thank Thanks you. very much. Thank you. And, and I completely disagree with that. I don't think... I think you've got a very scalable business here. I think you are really, really on to something, but it would be wrong of me yeah. to get involved with you and let you down because I wasn't going to give yeah. you the time that I think you've actually clearly indicated you want. Yes. So that is my absolutely only reason. So um, I won't be investing. Thank you very much, Thank Dave. You very much. Thank you. I think you've got a great model there and I think you could create garments and, and mm -hmm. on the back of the yeah. brand create nice yoga mats and yeah. all the rest of it. 
it's not something that I, I feel that I could invest in and give you the time okay. to do what you need. Um, so I wish you luck, but Thank I'm afraid you. I'm I'm out. Thank you Thank very you much. much. Thank you. Despite a promising initial pitch, Cheryl and Mike's chances of securing an investment appear to be slipping away. Will Duncan Bannatyne be prepared to offer the couple the financial lifeline they asked for? I don't think you need a dragon on board. But you've told me you do. Yeah. <laughs> This is a no-brainer for me, so I'm going to offer you all the money, £50,000, mm -hmm. for 35 per cent. OK, can I talk to Mike? Yes, sir. <laughs> Go for 20% for 50. Sometimes in life, there's an opportunity, and you have to grab the opportunity when it's there. So my offer stays £50,000 for 35%. Would you <laughs> would you consider if once you get your money back dropping down to a twenty percent? Yeah, I'd go for that. Yeah. 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 That would be fantastic. Okay. <clears throat> well done. Well, well done. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. Oh. Thanks, Mike. Thank you very much. So no problem. Thank you very much. Thanks for your time. Thanks a lot. So, success for Cheryl and Mike, who, after some tense negotiations, leave the den with a healthy £50,000 investment and the dragon expertise that they were seeking. I'm just completely shocked, so I'm completely overwhelmed. We're just so happy uh, that the, the dragons were so positive and that the Duncans invested. That's brilliant. I know. Um, I'm still taking it in, really. It's just a, we're just really, really happy and excited about the opportunities to come.